All right, I'm going to do something that probably won't make this special here, but I like to do this at live shows. So, if you have a problem, scream it out to me. It's got to be a real problem, though. No, no volunteering a friend. It's got to be real shit. And uh, I'll help you, and I'll buy you a drink. So scream it out, anyone? Go ahead. What? You, you have a girlfriend? Is your problem? <laughs> is that her right there? Oh, okay. Why is it, is it real or you just, you know, that was a joke? It's terrible. Are you really crumbling? She's a psychologist? A psych nurse, oh, you're even worse, yeah. This is the most Boston shit of all time. Oh, are you gonna fucking diagnose me and shit? No, I haven't. What is it? Oh, okay. No, I don't. Because I don't. You should, she asked if I've heard of the diagnostic book. No, I steer clear of your kind. But uh, that sounds awful. Let me break out the pamphlet. What does he have? The whole book? What's the worst one? Me too? I'm fucked up too? Maybe it's you. <laughs> no. There's two of us and there's only one of you. Trauma? Yeah, he's fucking, he's a, seems like a blue collar Boston guy. Of course he is. <laughs> Have you looked around? What kind of work do you do? Not you, him. We already got you. You know, for a psychologist, you're not a very good listener. Um, what, do you, what do you do, buddy? Construction. Yeah, no shit he has trauma. Are you kidding? What, what construction workers like everything is going great at all times? What else does he have besides trauma? Alcoholism. Yeah, I mean, obviously. Are you an alcoholic? Seven cups. You know what, buddy? Let's get him a shot of Bodega Cat. I like this guy. Get her a drink, too. She deserves a drink for... Yeah, the lady. Oh, you gotta give the lady some love, too. All right, anyone else got a problem? My boyfriend hates talking. Your boyfriend hates talking? I'm noticing a trend in Boston, I've noticed. Uh, your boyfriends hate you. Why does your boyfriend hate talking to you? He doesn't want to talk to you. What are you doing instead? You're looking at your phone or something? No, you just go to bed. You just go to bed? <laughs> so far, I'm on his side, too. It seems very reasonable. He hates talking to me when he's trying to sleep. That seems, are you, what do you, what do you, give me an example of what you're trying to talk about before bed. Anything, my day. Your day? Wow, well, it's riveting so far. Uh, <laughs> where do you work? Yeah. Uh, Program management? It sounds like Ambien to me. So. <laughs> but you'll talk to her other times. No. No? Oh, okay, we're getting a tale of two. I'm like kind of a couples counselor up here. It's kind of good. No, you don't like talking to her that much. How long you been together? A year and a half. Yeah, that's around when it starts hitting, right? <laughs> what kind of work are you in? We work together. Oh, you're... Oh. <laughs> You think he wants to hear about your day when you're at the same... <laughs> Get them both a drink, please. Uh, here comes Brian with some Bodega Cat for you. Brian. What, we had another woman over here. What do you say, miss? Hard to meet a quality man. Hard to meet a quality man. <laughs> they, they seem like winners to me so far. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> what's wrong, what, where you mean the guys in the dating apps? Yeah. Yeah, it's tough, right? Because the, picture, the pictures never match the occupation on those things. It's always like a gorgeous woman bent over with a finger in her mouth, and I'm like, St. Jude's Children's Hospital? What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit. Pictures, they're like six feet, and then when you meet them, they're not so much. Oh, they're, they're height catfishing you? You're expecting a taller dude. I mean, it's on their profile. You would think what they're offering is... Yeah, oh, so you're bummed. <laughs> you want a tall dude. I mean, at least someone who's honest about how Honest about, okay. No, I, I get that. That's, well, what, what's something that you're showing off better, though? That, that There's got to be something on your end, too. <laughs> you're reeling them in with something. Everyone's pick is a lie. You know? 
What's, give me one of yours. All right. Uh, <laughs> probably not vulnerable or... Emotional. You're not vulnerable or emotional? I don't think any guy in Boston is having a problem with that. I met this girl, she's got a sweet rack, super hot, but she never opens up when I need her to, you know? It's a real, it's a real bummer. I'm just trying to connect. I see your body, I want your soul, you know? I... You don't like your buddy is your point. He is a fucking big guy with a beard though. It's relatable? All right. I didn't mean like a problem, not just point to your friend. That was fucking... Is he, do you have a problem with him or no? You just met him? Wow, you are a fucking drunk town, huh? <laughs> this is really... That is like next level. He's not a young guy either, that's what I like about it. How old are you? 46. 46, it's, it's like, not old, but it's also weird to be like, fuck this guy right here. <laughs> That's just weird behavior. You know what I don't like? People three seats to my right. That really chaps my ass. What, why? I don't know. But I know I have misplaced rage from my childhood, and instead of doing anything about it, I will continue to drink and fight. <laughs> I like it. Hey. Get this fucking guy a drink, he's a character. And get Beardo a drink too, because he didn't deserve that. Brian, two drinks over here. Anyone else? That's pretty fucked up. That sucks. Do you, are you anti-dog? Rumors? God, life is fucking boring, isn't it? You want to think you have a good life when you're like, I the word on the street. Like it's a fucking Knives Out mystery or something. Anyone else? Your mother's a bitch? It always takes a few before we hit the grand salami here. And your, your mother is a bitch. Norman Bates, everybody. What a... What? A narcissist. All right. Well, give me an example. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> she lived with a family at one point, and like. Uh, she lived with a family. That sounds a lot like a mom. That's crazy. That's like a. Brian, get this sad sack a fucking drink, will you? <laughs> Let's do a couple more. Anyone else? Sad sack a drink. Sleep fingered he sleep fingered you. He woke you up with his fingers inside you is what I'm getting? Oh, he was asleep. I thought you were asleep. All right, that's... So he fingered you. That's a great out, I guess. Just finger someone. They're like, what are you doing? They're like... Oh, I'm totally sleeping right now. Oh, I'm so asleep. Where are you from? Is that... Is, what is that, Australian? Oh my God, and you came for this? You flew here from Brisbane? Brisbane was the worst fucking crowd in Australia. I had a lot of cities that Brisbane fucking sucked. Just retards, no offense. Uh, I know people don't like that word, I fucking hated them. Do you live there, you came in for this? Your honeymoon? Uh, don't worry, this is the saddest honeymoon I've ever heard. Who honeymoons in Boston? <laughs> Honey, I'm gonna take you to the nicest place you've ever seen. <laughs> Have you ever been to Cheers? <laughs> <laughs> I like Cheers. I keep begging my ex-girlfriend and she's 36 and I'm 26 and uh... <laughs> so far this sounds like a pretty good deal for you, huh? I'm gonna be honest. Uh, She's engaged? Yeah, and he knows. And he knows. Okay, this is taking a turn. Is he a scary guy? He's, uh, he's a CO, but he's also a kind of a fuck, I guess. So. <laughs> yeah, what do you do? I just bang her out. I don't... No, I meant as a job. I didn't... Man. 
That's, it's weird. She says, the same birthday, too. Sounds like you're meant to be. <laughs> wow, this got really romantic. He's like, I'm fucking a married person, but we got the same astrological sign. <laughs> yeah, do, do you feel any guilt about fucking a married woman? Um... I love how many scumbags live in this city. <laughs> it's kind of fun. You get good... So, you, do you don't? I dated her first, and then this guy like, came in after. But she, like, came in. Guy who doesn't know how dating works? <laughs> he pulled up to my house, blocked me in my driveway. He tried to fight me, and I was like... Doesn't feel like this is worth it at a certain point, does it? He's like, he threatened to kill me, he beheaded one of my cats, but... Brian, get him a shot of Bodega Cat, because he's probably going to die soon. Anyone else? What do we got? Anyone? I just doubt my mother won't leave me alone. Oh, Jewish? <laughs> or, what is it? It's, oh. Same sides, the same coin, right? It's, <laughs> usually the Italian moms are crazy about the boys. They don't give a shit about the women as much, I thought, right? <laughs> But you, you and your mom are tight? Oh, there you go. You're kind of like her boy, you know? Are you guys tight? Uh, well, I lived there until I was three months ago when I moved out. How old are you? I'm 31. Yeah. Sounds like a fucking Italian to me. <laughs> Did you ever live alone before this or no? No. That's good for you. Look at you. You did it. You got out. Is this like, is this gonna be like in Shawshank though, where you're just like, I don't know how to live on the outside and now I gotta kill myself. Congrats on getting, Brian, get her a celebratory bodega cat shot. I think she's, are you up there? What accent, where are you from? South African, all right, you got the fuck, it's kind of swanky, right? Look at, no, well, he's a well-dressed guy here. What are you, fucking coming from the Bahamas or something? What is this shit? <laughs> that blue blazer right here? He looks better than, you look nice, but he's 10, he, 10 years older. And you call him an old man? I mean, no. No? Is he just, guy just shit-faced? And <laughs> <laughs> you're just starting shit? You fucking South Africans, you and Elon, dude. What the hell is your problem? <laughs> You, she calls, you don't call him an old man ever? I call him my sugar daddy. Your sugar daddy? I mean, he's got the fucking proper attire on. Look at this guy. <laughs> got the blue blazer and everything. I didn't, I didn't assume you paid for shit. I gotta be honest. I, I'm gonna ask him, how's the sex life? Is that, is that when she calls you old man? <laughs> you old piece of shit. Your dick doesn't work. By the way, that would work on me. But, uh, <laughs> thank you for the pep talk. I need a doctor because I can fix it. Yeah. Wow. I've never had a guy openly admit his dick doesn't work in the front row. That's pretty cool. I need a doctor for my dick. I've never screamed this out before at a show, but is there a doctor in the house? Right here? What do you got, miss? <laughs> Holy shit, we just heard your voice. That was crazy. Did you hear that shit? Oh, uh, you're, you're actually mistaken. I don't pretend I'm from... I'm from Hartford, Connecticut. Maybe you've heard of it. It's... A lovely city. I bet you say cheers to people all the time, don't you? <laughs> You're one of those fucking fake Brits. So are you gonna stop being British or what? No, you're gonna stick with it? You like being British? That's the next one. People are like, I identify as British. I... Get, can we get the British chick a shot? Get her, get her a pint, actually. She... Please. She what, 22 days ago? Dumped me two days ago. Oh, she, damn. Was she supposed to come here with you tonight? No, I went with the boys. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, the boys. Yeah! Dudes, 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 dudes. 
Why'd she break up with you? She's graduating. How old is she? <laughs> this could be an ugly reveal, everybody. How old is she? She's 23, I'm 21. Oh, damn. Well, nice job, though, buddy. <laughs> Got some of that sweet older Punani. Where'd she go to school? And we're at Harvard. Oh, smart kid. Boo. <laughs> Boston's the only people that boo their own. <laughs> I'm from three, three blocks over, you're like, fuck you, dude. <laughs> Everyone must live on my block. <laughs> you what? It's Cambridge. Cambridge, okay. She's British too, get her. <laughs> you doing all right? I'm doing good. You all right? I'll, I'll be better with some Bodega Cat. All right, get him some Bodega Cat, bro. <laughs> Round of applause for Brian, giving drinks out. Thank you, Boston, you rule.